All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the interweb worlds. I'm Ryan from Mr. Owls Gaming, and we've got a good live session for us tonight. Um, I am joined by Jason. Oh, I didn't even check this beforehand. Jason Clinky. You got it. Clinky. And Kip, I'm going to butcher this one. Nostris. <laughs> Uh, Naskazi. Well, one of the two. Naskazi. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, yeah. Welcome, gentlemen. Now, Jason and Kip, they are the designers, the designing duo of the game we'll be playing tonight, which is Skull Canyon Ski Fest. Um, well, I guess before I'm, I'm getting all ahead of myself once again here. Um, say hello, everybody, to uh, to Jason and Kip. And Jason and Kip, say hello to everybody that's out there. <laughs> Hi everyone, happy to do a little <laughs> night skiing with you. Yeah, absolutely. So, Skull Canyon Ski Fest. This game, in my opinion, I, I did a review of this um, a, a couple months back already, and this game is a beauty in my mind. So it's it's an absolute honor to be able to actually play the game with the the two people that actually managed to create this little bit of joy in a box that I'll call that I'll call. Um, talk to us just very quickly about the, um, where did the idea of Skull Canyon Ski Fest come from? Sure. Well, well, first of all, thanks for having us tonight. Really appreciate this yeah. uh, opportunity to talk to you and play with you. Um, yeah, I mean, this just, just came out of, um, a desire to kind of combine some interests that both Kip and I had, you know, gaming and, and particularly interest in skiing, obviously, into a, a game that we thought was not being really represented in the board gaming world yet. Or at least, you know, there's been a few iterations out there in the past, but nothing that kind of would, I would sort of categorize as, as a more modern uh, tabletop game. Hmm. Um, and so we thought, well, you know, if we're going to, if we're, we wanted, we knew we wanted to design something and we were like, let's, let's start theme first here just because we want to do something that we really are interested in. Um, and we got this idea of drawing a map and connecting runs on a ski hill and then thought, well, that's interesting. Well, how can we, how can we create some interesting mechanics around that and, and make a compelling game out of that? And, uh, so then, yeah, I guess this is going back to maybe 2019 Kip and I got together and kind of started to think about ways to, to draw a mountain and, and to, and to have someone come down the mountain and mm -hmm. versions that included, you know, um, you know, dice rolls and, you know, and, and event decks and things. And we kind of landed on this set collection mechanism, which you'll, you know, you'll see in the game. Um, it just sort of felt very natural with it. And then we knew that we still needed to have something that made the game a little different than just going around a, a map and going between routes. And um, so we thought, well, the interesting part could be that this sort of represents what it's like to go on a ski trip, right. Or to go on a, to a ski festival or something where during the day, there's all this activity on the mountain, We've got the Yeti and we've got avalanches and all this fun stuff, um, powder days, right? But then in the evening, you have this very famous sort of uh, ski culture of Apra ski where you wander through the village and stop off at various places for drinks and food and and a dip in the hot tub and that kind of thing. So we kind of wanted to, to find a way to make the game sort of represent that entire journey for you. Really yeah. cool. Really, really, yeah. really cool. It definitely went through many iterations, you know, before it came to what we eventually pitched, you know, but uh, like, like any game in development, you've got to do a lot of testing. And, and it was interesting doing that during the pandemic when we were all kind of figuring out Zoom and how to communicate uh, over the Internet. So it was a pretty interesting process of how to uh, manage that. And, and then our, pitch, our pitching ended up being virtual, too. So, oh, wow. Yeah. So right. we're actually... Yeah, and uh, Pandasaurus Games ended up picking up and doing mm -hmm. the publication on this one. And they, they've been really known for really cool, picking up really cool themes really, really as of late. And I, I think Skulking and Ski Fest really was the, kind of like one of the first ones that I can kind of notice that where they really went outside of all the common, like, you know, farming on the Mediterranean oh, or high fantasy or space or anything like that. And so it was a really refresh, literally a refreshing theme. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, um, you know, I will say that in the development of this game as well, in the design of it, that, you know, as Kip kind of alluded to, it went through a lot of different iterations. We kind of had to move away from it being too much of a simulation, which is often the case with sports games, right? Mm -hmm. Is that, it can be very tempting to simulate things like, oh, you're on a ski hill and, you know, you're going to get tired. You're going to run out of endurance and get exhausted. 
and this kind of thing. And so, you know, we ultimately landed on this system of just, you know, you're just spending time on the mountain. And so mm -hmm. there's this daylight concept, right? Where right. the daylight is fading. You only have so much time in the game, right? I think you pointed out in your review, even Ryan, that, you know, it's a, it's a, there's very few actions in this game. And so right. you kind of have to make the most of them. You're never going to be able to ski everything you want to ski and cover all the mountain that you would like to cover, which is very typical to like an actual experience of skiing on a mountain. Right. Yeah. You can only go down those certain runs. You can't go down all of the runs all of the time right. type thing. So yeah. really, what really I, cool. One of the things I think we're excited to share today is we've kind of come up with some, a new variant rule. Uh, and so maybe Jason can probably explain it better than I can, but uh, just some, from some of the feedback we've had and some of the ideas we even had before it was released, uh, just, you know, it's, it's, it's optional variant, you know, people don't have to play it this way. They can play it by the box rules if they want to, but, uh, this is something that we're pretty excited about and just wanted to share. So Jason, you want to try to explain? Yeah, that? sure. Absolutely. I mean, we can talk about that when we look at the board too, sure. but just really quickly, this is just a, um, an, an additional way to play the game that adds a slight tweak to how you gain and acquire the gear cards in the game, which are something that give you these nice powers and make you feel like you're improving on the hill. Um, but there's something that are hard to acquire and only a few opportunities uh, arise for you to acquire them. And so we've got a version that we'll be playing with you here tonight that actually gives you a chance to sort of gear up and load up more gear mm -hmm. and even um, earn some additional lift tickets to help you help you cover more of the mountain. So it's just a way to increase the 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 breadth of, you know, the mountain that's available to you and and the options for your play. Right. Yeah, I think I mentioned in my review because you have to spend fame in order to get these gear cards. So I'm like, you're becoming famous and people are wanting to sponsor you. Wear my yeah. gear down the mountain. Get people yeah. talking about it. You know, you 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 were the first person to to, to mention that. I, I thought it was a really astute observation of it being like a sponsorship. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, and yeah, I mean, that wasn't actually in our heads when we oh. designed that <laughs> as sponsorship, but but I think it's it's kind of a great way to think about it and to, to represent it. You know, you're, you're cashing in on your fame. Mm -hmm. so, Perfect. Yeah. Okay. I well on stream here i'm gonna i'm just gonna flip on over to our gameplay uh screen you will have not signed anything everybody else now sees the lovely tabletop sim we're gonna be playing on tabletop simulator where it's not a physical way that we could actually all get together in the same uh place here so this is a really fantastic mod that's been put together i have already forgotten i should have wrote it down the person's uh, name Yukon Zach, I believe, was was Yukon. their username. Perfect. Yeah, really, really nicely implemented. Very nice, bright. Every I like the mountains in the background. And everything really feels like we're gonna sit down on the mountain and play Skull Canyon. All right, let's set up the game. Sure. I guess so. Oh gosh, it's been a while since I've set up the game. <laughs> well, we can talk about it as we do it. So. Sure. So really quickly, so we've got our slope deck here of cards, which are the primary cards you'll be collecting to represent your skill. And so for those, we're going to shuffle those up, and then we're going to flip four of those face up on the table. Okay, well, I think it even has like nice slots for all of them. Yeah. For all of and them. And so, so those can all be revealed. Yeah. And the slope cards uh, will come in three different colors as well as uh, five different symbols that represent the styles that you're skiing with. Um, and so you can see a few of them here, examples like slope style and moguls, and there's others in there as well. There's also a wild card that has a Yeti on it that can be representing any color or any style of card. Mm -hmm. And so that's the slope deck there. Let's go ahead and look at the other side of the board and we can pull out some gear. So there's a gear deck there. And likewise, four cards will come out there face up on the table to start the game. And these are, these are cards that you will primarily acquire in the hotel in the upper ski. But with this variant that we're going to be playing with today, you'll uh, have some other opportunities during the skiing phase as well to acquire these. Um, and these cards are all, all uh, pretty easy to interpret, but the top left corner is how much fame they cost to buy. And then the top right corner is how many victory points they give you. And the bottom tells you what their power is. That will be an ongoing power for you during the game. So when you, when you acquire gear, it will go face up in front of you right. for everyone to see. Cool. Uh, so then we've all picked a color and picked a skier. There's these player raids here in front of us. I'm 
skiing as, as Tavi, uh, Ryan, you're playing as Chaz, and uh, I think, uh, Kip, you're playing as Sosh, right? Yeah, as Sosh. Yeah. And cool. so the player aids are, are really nice. They, they will show you everything you can do on your turn. You're going to be picking two actions from the list, and you can duplicate your actions. So we can, uh, let's just grab our, our skiers and snowboarders and go ahead and put them at the base of the mountain, maybe to get ready. Okay. And so we have to prep the mountain though as well. And so one part of that is putting out style tokens on the, on the style markers on the board there. So there's that bag there. We can pull those bonus tiles out of, and those will just get randomly set out there on the board. Perfect. And the Yeti is sleeping in his cave at the moment, but I suspect that we will see him at some point tonight. And oh, there's one up in the top corner there too. Yeah, this is the first time that I'm playing on the three, sorry, not the first time playing on the three, four. I've only played this one once with a four player game. This will be my mm -hmm. first time playing as three players. Excellent. So the other thing we have to do is set the weather for this uh, festival. And so the first day we play this game over three to three rounds, three days. And the first day is always sunny, just happens to always be sunny. And we will draw from the bag two additional tokens. Now, we could just go with this and have three sunny days, but I think for the interest of maybe the audience, <laughs> let's let's put them back in the bag and let's see if we can get at least one different weather coming out there. Okay, so second day is a snowy day. That'll be great. And there we go. third day is icy. I like that. So, but the weather is randomized at setup um, yes. for those second and third days, just to give you a little bit of variety. Yeah. Um, and then the daylight marker is this token right here, which starts at four. And this will go down one in daylight every time we go around the table. And when it reaches the bottom at the end there, that effectively means the lifts are closed. We're done skiing. And then we will line up for our entrance into the village, our procession across the village. Great. Um, and that's the sort of worker placement part of this game. Um, and we can talk about that in a minute, but just a quick note of point there is that we're playing a three player game. And so you'll see there's different spots that we can slot ourselves into mm. like this. And what, we will not all be able to go to, let's say, the hot tub or the happy hour. There will be right. one spot that is only available in a four-player game. Right. So just keep that in mind. Cool. Uh, right. Let's see. What else do we need here? We have some fame bags at the bottom here for fame, which we will earn by skiing. There's some bags for some ex explosive avalanche tokens and some lift tickets. The first player marker. We will have to pick a first player, so I don't know uh, the last... <laughs> Last person to build a snowman. I mean, oh gosh, we just got uh, snow. We uh, just got snow last uh, last you, this past week. Okay, so <laughs> by by default, since neither of us have snow on the ground where we live, and you do, I would say <laughs> you inherit that. I unfor um, I unfortunately inherit that. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, okay, so then mm. we are basically set, except that we need to start with a hand of cards, mm. and so. We are each going to uh, draw from the top of the deck seven cards to start the game. Right. So we can go ahead and just grab those. All right. And people on stream can see my opening hand. Great. So let's see. Uh, we are, well, I guess just a quick rules teach here, which would be that so Ryan is your, your first player and you'll take your your turn by taking your actions, which could include going up uh, a lift. So riding the, the red lined lifts is an action and they're connected in some places. So an example would be going up the village express as one action. And then again, up to the top of the icicle express since they're connected. Um, the other thing you could do is you can, you can train, which is your way of earning new slope cards into your hand. And so that is just collecting two slope cards from the supply here. So you choose from the face up, um, supply and you choose two to pull into your hand, replacing them as you take them. Mm -hmm. And if you would like, you can take them blind from the top of the deck. Right. Um, the only other rule around that is there are these Yeti cards that are wild in there. And if you see a face up uh, wild Yeti card, you can, you can take that, but it counts effectively like it's two cards. Right. Cool. Uh, so that's training. And then the, the last action you can choose from there is, is to obviously ski or run. And so the runs are all organized by difficulty on the mountain just like in a real ski hill. And so you've got green runs that are the easiest. You've got these blue runs that are more intermediate runs. And then you've got the really 
expert level runs that are black. And so to ski down one of those, you must play a set of cards from your slope cards from your hand that all match on either the color or on the style. Mm -hmm. So the example being to ski down this green run right here by me on easy street at the bottom of the mountain, that's a green run. So I only need to play two cards that match. So I could play two blues, such as these two that I'm pointing out here. Um, or I could play two that match on style. So I could play a slope style and another slope style, even if it's of a different color. Mm -hmm. And the wilds obviously will let you match any color or style. Uh, when you ski those runs, you'll ski down the run and you'll earn some points in fame. And so the points are according to the difficulty of the run as well. So a green run will earn you two points and a blue run will earn you four. And then the black, black runs will earn you eight. Um, but the requirements for skiing them get more difficult as well. So two cards need to be in your set for a green run, four cards in your set for a blue run, and seven cards in your set for a black run. Right. Uh, so you'll collect your points for that. We need to actually place our point markers out there on the scoreboard at the zero spot. And then there's a bag of fame tokens, uh, which is what we'll be drawing from as well when we ski runs. Um, and that is also according to the difficulty of the run. So a green run will give you one fame, a blue run will give you two fame, and a black run will give you three fame. And all that's summarized nicely on the player aid as well, yeah. as far as how big the set needs to be and what you'll earn. Now, the other thing on the board is these, these uh, bonus tiles that we put out for certain runs. And so that is just where playing a style of a set composed of entirely that style will earn you a double fame bonus. Mm -hmm. So banana split here in the middle of the mountain is a off piste run. It's got a bunch of trees on it. And so if you play a set of four cards in this case, because it's a blue run and those four cards are all off piste with that symbol, then you will effectively earn double fame mm. that run. And those tokens stay on the board so you can earn the bonus repeatedly and others can earn it as well. Right. right. Um, yeah. And then the other thing is this guy here, this, this crazy, crazy guy here, the Yeti. And so he will come into play the moment one of us skis a run with a wild card. And so if you play a set and you match with a wild card, exactly one wild card in your set, then you must move the Yeti. And so the Yeti will serve as a bit of a blocker. He can be placed on any run on the mountain, effectively shutting that run down for everyone. Um, you can move him to your advantage too, though. If he was blocking you on a particular run, let's say he's over here by hideout and I'm trying to ski down hideout. If I had the right cards for that set, including the wild, I could move him out of my way before I ski it and then ski down it. And likewise, you can ski a run and then move the Yeti right behind you to protect it. If that's suits your fancy. Ah, that, um, was, that was actually one thing that I had missed. I didn't know that you could move the Yeti before you went before down. Or the... after. Oh, yeah. okay. I mean, yeah, I, so I had missed that one. Whenever it's at your advantage, basically, it just means if you play the set with one wild, you must move the Yeti at some point on that. Okay. That um, now, if you play with more than one wild or in your set, like two or three, then you're actually not moving the Yeti. You're causing an avalanche. Right. And so that is going to impact everyone at the table. We're all going to have to, including the person who caused it, are going to have to choose or move down one connected run on the mountain. And so in some cases, you will actually have the luxury of a choice of where to go because you're at a nice nexus where there's multiple routes you could slide down. Mm -hmm. um, so you could perhaps find a way to use that avalanche to your advantage. Um, but that will impact everyone unless they have some sort of protection, which is available in some of the gear cards. And there's other ways to avoid that as well. Um, I think I've covered everything on skiing except for claiming the runs, which is this top board, which is for some end game points. So when we do ski these runs, we earn our victory points and our fame, but then we also put out one of our markers of our player color on the run that we skied. And so when you're the first player to ski that run, you just claim it by putting your token out there. Um, and that's just effectively saying, Hey, I skied this the best. And if somebody else skis that same run, like Eagle, that's been marked there, they would have to play one additional card in their set to now mark that run with their token on top. And so it's always going to be get increasingly more difficult to steal these runs from each other. Mm -hmm. um, now you don't have to steal. You can always ski any run anytime. So even though the yellow player here has skied Eagle, the purple player could 
ski down Eagle and just get the points and victory point points and fame for it without worrying about stealing it. But, uh, but stealing is important just because it will actually lead to your control of these runs. And the topmost token will determine who controls the run at the end of the game. And so this is a little bit of an area of majority here where at the end of the, of the game, whoever has the most control of the beginner will earn an eight, eight bonus points. The uh, advanced runs, the blue runs there will be earned six points. The black runs four points. And then the most overall control of the mountain will earn another bonus four points. Uh, that is it for the skiing phase. The, the uh, APRA ski will happen once this daylight has gone down to zero. And so once the daylight fades, we'll all line up for APRA ski. And there's these position slots here for us. And it will be in order of closest to the village, essentially. And so if we're at different altitudes on the mountain here. The purple player timed it really nicely and was able to ski down at the end of the day they actually would earn themselves what's called a waning daylight bonus of one extra fame for that, for actually having sort of timed it perfectly to get to the bottom of the mountain by the end of the day. Um, they would then slot themselves into, in this case, the first position for Apra ski. Then the red player is lower down on the mountain, so they would come into second and then the yellow. And if any players are tied at the same altitude, then it's just in turn order for those players. Right. And then we uh, begin the upper ski where we'll go in this turn order here, according to how we lined up and select where to move. And this is similar to like in games like Tokaido or parks where you can move as far down a trail as you'd like to go, but you can't move back. Right. And so, and you can't stay sitting somewhere the next turn. So you're always going to be in motion moving towards the hotel. So the idea being, I might go to the hot tub here and I can discard one slope card from my hand um, to gain three fame. And then the red player could choose where to go. And there is a spot for them to go in the hot tub as well. But there's only in this three-player game, two spots in the hot tub. Right. And so the yellow player would actually have to advance further ahead to some other area of their choice, like the happy hour. Um, we can explain those as we encounter them. Mm -hmm. But then the rule here is then that once we're all on the village trail, the player who's the furthest back on the trail is who will always move next. So... This is a way where with some careful movement, you can actually take multiple turns in a row, mm -hmm. right? By just sort of slow walking yourself to the hotel. You're not in a rush to get back to, to the hotel, but you may want to be in a rush to get back to the hotel just because the gear is sort of first come first served in the hotel. And so that's where the gear purchase will happen. Um, and you'll be able to buy one piece of gear. It will not get replaced. Um, and any unpurchased gear at the end of the, of the day will get discarded and new ones will come out for the next day. Um, now, we're going to be playing with this little variant rule, so we should talk about this real quick, which is um, this is a rule that we have put in as a way that you can play the game, especially if you've played once or twice before and you're, or you're just a more advanced player and want a little more strategy in this. Um, and what it effectively does is it turns these lodges on the mountain that are drawn on the board into kind of strategic locations. You can see them here. There's four of them because the the bottom of the mountain is also considered one big lodge. And so as a bonus action, basically at any of these lodge locations, once per turn as a bonus action, you can purchase a lift ticket at a cost of three fame. And keep in mind, lift tickets in Aperski only cost one fame. So if you buy a same day ticket during the day, it's, it's, it's three times as expensive. Um, but you can purchase a lift ticket, which will give you a free lift action to use at some point in the game. And you can also and or purchase one piece of gear for the indicated cost on the gear. So, so I could ski during the day and end up at one of these mid mountain lodges. And then at the beginning, middle or end of my turn, doesn't matter somewhere in my turn. Um, even if I'm just passing through, like I've skied down one run to get to the lodge and now I'm going to take my second action to ski down another run. Mm -hmm. I could pause briefly in the lodge as a bonus action and maybe buy a lift ticket and a piece of gear. And so when you buy the gear during the day, you'll still pay what the cost on the card says, but you'll take it and it will get replenished with a new gear card from the deck. So the gear during the day is going to be revealing itself to us. But when we get down to Apriski, that's the fixed gear for Apriski. And there is, with this variant, a gear limit of four cards. You can only get four pieces of gear during the game. Um, and lift tickets... Uh, yeah, is, is, are unlimited. So, you know, but you can only buy one of those as a bonus action in those lodges uh, on your turn. Right. And so hopefully that makes sense to you, but that's, that's the variation that we will play with tonight.
Beautiful. Excellent. I have to make a couple mentions. I didn't want to interrupt the beautiful teach that was um, actually happening there. But we do have... No, where no, where did my chat... Oh, my chat disappeared. Where did my chat go? Um, we've got Nico Craig that has joined into the chat. He said, this is an awesome game. Highly recommend it. Jason Klinky is the best. A master mind of the board game world. So I'm just... <laughs> I'm assuming you, you 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 may know who Nico. I may have I may have an idea. <laughs> you may, may have, have an idea. I have a few fans in Canada. Perfect. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Thank you for that wonderful teacher. Yeah. Very clear. You're welcome. And I guess we're on our way down the mountain, up the mountain, down have, the mountain. Yeah, we may have questions as gear comes out or in Apra Ski on what things do, but we can just deal with those when we encounter them. Mm -hmm. so let's make sure we're all starting at the bottom here again and yeah okay i'll zoom out just a little bit take a look at what's inside my hand here daylight is back up to four okay perfect and all right so we are taking actions two actions per turn two actions yeah you can have some bonus actions with lift tickets that's yeah, that's the that's the very nice thing about those absolutely wonderful lift tickets here. All right, I am going to take my very first action is to go up this run right up here, right up that lift, right up to that spot. I'm going to just zoom in. To, whoops, I went too far. Wrong camera. I programmed the camera angles and I hit the wrong one there. So I went up Sunshine Express. And now I am going to... I think I'll ski down wizard. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's ski down wizard. So I've got four cards here that I will play. And one of them is the Yeti. Oh, I oh. guess I should. Okay, where am I? Where am I? Where should I? Where should I play our discard pile? Um, we could put it to the left of the, uh, of the, of of the, the supply. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they have, they have a nice little discard pile. So one, two three and a yeti wild card allows me to go down wizard all the way over to here and that is going to allow me to claim the wizard run yes i'm going to come up here where's wizard there you are right there and that's going to get me four points no nope. yep yeah four points it's an intermediate run. It's a blue run, so it's four points and two and fame. two fame. Okay, I'll grab those. Whoops, that's three. Nope, there you go. One and two. And that was. And I have to move the yeti. I have to. Yes, you must. Let's go with. Now, there are a couple of runs that are marked on there as no yeti allowed, right? The hobbits and the easy street runs. And it has to be runs. Can't be lifts. Cannot be lifts. That would be way unfortunate. That would be way unfortunate. Um, well, let's go ahead and let's let's block off Wizard here that I just came down in case. Whoa, boy! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> little topsy turvy okay. Yeti. There we go. Great. All right, my first two turns. Okay, so it's Good. on to me. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we have Scott Brown in the chat here. He said, just bought this game, loving these instructions on the gameplay. Great. Yes. And he's getting excited for skiing season. Yes, I am as well. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. What can I string together here? You know what? I am going to draw some cards and train to start. I think I'm going to take this one. And this one. Okay. Oh, and there's a wild that came out. Okay. So then for my second action, I could take that wild, but that would be my only card I could take. And instead, I'm going to go up the Sunshine Express. Right and on. that will do it for mine. All right, my turn. All right, I'm going to take, I'm going to train also. Take the one card there. 
And then I'll take one blind. That's also a strategy. You could possibly get a Yeti yeah. on. You don't know. It yeah. feels really good when you do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to go up a lift as well. Let's see. I'd like to go up the Village Express right here. Hmm. And that's it for my turn. Back to you, Ryan. All right. So now that day marker goes Daylight. down. Yeah, we'll fade by one. Starting to wane. Okay, I will. I will play. Do, 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 do. I think, I think, I think I will train. I think I'm going to grab this one right here. Ooh, I think I'll grab that one again. That one really, really worked nicely. And then as my th as my uh, second action, I will come down old... Was that Galaxy? Yeah. I'm going to come down Galaxy. It's a green run, so I'm gonna, I just need two cards. One, I'll play two blues. Okay. For that, come down Galaxy here. Meet Kip at that point. And I grab... What is it? Two points. Two points and one fame for Two a green points, one fame. Come down here and another fame. And. And you'll claim that oh, run. Right, you got to claim that run. Better. Thanks. Yeah. Galaxy. Yeah. There it is. Already skiing quite a bit of the mountain. I see. <laughs> and. Oh, yeah, that's two actions. Yep. Okay. So. I'm going to, uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and take one of these wild cards. Welcome, Volvik. Um, just tuned in at the tail end of the explanation. Super excited to watch my first proper stream and not just the very end of one. Glad <laughs> that you can actually finally join join me for an actual full gameplay. Yeah, because at the end, I usually just talk about my thoughts and then just kind of get my get my tail out of Dodge. Have yeah. either of you actually played this game at a ski resort yet? Uh, not the not the published version yet. Okay. You know, many a prototype, but yeah. the game came out in April, and so we've been just like anxiously waiting for ski season this year now to take it up. <laughs> yeah. That would be amazing uh, okay. to see this in some gift shops. At some, yes. at some point in yeah. time. That would be the goal, right? Yeah, I mean, it just feels like it would be a fun one to play while you're, you know, winding down at the end of a night after being on the mountain. Yeah, Fireplace like going. Official ski season. Yeah. Well, like, 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 like Wingspan is in, like, some nature shops out there. Yeah, I mean, we, we, viticulture we, and, and wineries and stuff. And, yeah. You know, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's thematically, it makes sense. Uh, okay, so I, have, I took my first action just training by taking that one wild card, and I'm going to do my second action. I'm going to ski down Wizard, and that's a blue run, so I need four cards. Um, but I'm going to have to move the Yeti out of the way to do that. And I'm actually going to play five cards. There's oh. uh, three reds. There's a fourth red and the Yeti. So there's my five so that I can move him out of the way. And I'm going to put him actually on Thumper. Mm. And then I'll ski down Wizard here. <laughs> and so I moved him before I skied, but mm -hmm. I skied on Wizard. And now because I played the one additional card on there, I can claim, not set, claim, claim that. Claim my, my run own. on me. Yes. So <laughs> stole it. Stole it. Grab that, and I'll grab some points and fame here. It'll be four points and two fame, and then it will be Kip's turn. All right, my turn. Uh, so I am going to ski down the uh, eagle right here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Collision. <laughs> <laughs> it's a full contact. Full contact sport. We might <laughs> need ski patrol. I'll play uh, two slope style cards in order to do that. And that'll give me two victory points. 
Easy tree too. Why not? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that with two slalom cards. One, mm. two. Beauty. That give me two more points here. One more fame. Another claim. Uh, which one did I claim? <laughs> uh, easy street. Easy okay. street. There we go. And then back to you, Ryan. Okay. So I'll move the daylight down here one for you. Perfect. Two. Okay. I will. Oh, no. I wish I had. Oh, I wish I had some moguls. <laughs> wish I had some moguls. No, but I have. I'm going to be coming down eagle. And I have three sol slalom. Slalom. cards one of each color that should be a bonus <laughs> <laughs> three slaloms so that is two points one fame. one fame yeah but you'll get to steal that run away and i get yep. to steal up, up yep up 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 and where's that eagle right there Okay, and then my uh, second action, I believe I will just train. I will draw, I'll draw one off the top first. Okay. Oops, I guess I should do that. And I'll draw this one and replace it. That is my action. Two actions. Okay. Two actions. Okay, so back to me. And I think I'm going to just come on down the electric avenue. Do, so, do, do, there it is. Gavin. Yeah, so that's a blue run there, intermediate. So I'm going to have to play fork. Oh, I got ahead of myself. I meant to uh, train once for that. So hmm. don't have to go for that just yet, perhaps. Um, so I'm going to train here and draw in this card. And I think I'm going to take the next one just from the top of the deck. Sounds good. Okay, and now, second action, I will ski down Electric Avenue. So for that, I'm going to play four blue cards. Here's three, here's the fourth. Nice. And so that's going to let me do a couple of things. I'll claim Electric Avenue, and I'll get myself four points and two fame. And I'm going to take a bonus action. Ah, and using the variant for the first time today. Yes, and I'm going to buy myself some some gear. Uh oh, so <laughs> right. Which one's he looking at? I'm actually going to take the field journal. It's so, a really good one. It's a really nice one. Yeah, gives me a lot of flexibility with taking those yetis cards so i'll just pull that in front of me here that costs four fame uh if one of you could replenish that gear mm -hmm. see what the new gear is and i'll cash in my four fame here with the snow cannon snow cannon once on each of your turns you may pay one fame to discard all four face up and reveal new ones and just blast the cards out of there and <laughs> the, the supply yeah yeah and if people didn't see what the field journal did it allows him to take a Yeti card, and then he can also still take a second card instead of the Yeti card being his only right. card. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, it's usually one of the ones that go, if it's out there, <laughs> it goes pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that's my two actions plus my bonus I took in the lodge there. So I'm done. Right on. All right. My turn. Uh, all right. So, uh, Better take that Yeti card so you can't uh, get it on your next turn. <laughs> <laughs> I see how it is. And, uh, <laughs> the meta you know game I emerges. Yeah. <laughs> I will. Uh, you know, I'm going to buy a piece of gear too. Why not? So, uh, two. It costs two fame for the night goggles. So I'll go ahead and. Uh, so the night goggles give you an extra action 
after the skiing phase has ended. Mm. Yep. Go ahead and take that one. And anyone else? We got the avalanche alert. Oh, that's a good one. When an avalanche is triggered, you may pay one fame to avoid it. Interesting. Yeah, yeah it's an interesting one. Sometimes yeah. you may find you want the avalanche to impact you, but it's nice to have the flexibility to defend against it too. Yeah, you're like, no, I really wanted to claim that route. Right. Claim that Let's run. And one more turn. I'll take card right here. And I'll take that one as well. Oh, somebody else is collecting moguls. Oh, <laughs> oh there it is. <laughs> Right. All right. Okay, so daylight is down to one. Right, and this uh, little reminder on the board here says that when we complete runs in this, we get an extra fame. It's it's uh, if you end up at the bottom. If you of end the at mountain, the bottom, that's what. Sorry, yes, 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 yeah. Then you'll get an extra fame, and you could collect that bonus multiple times if you're able to use actions appropriately. Right. But usually, it's just a one. One fame bonus. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let us. Jason, you already moved the daylight. I, I did. Yes, we're we're in the we're at the one right now. So this is this will be each of us our last turn around the table here for this day. Okay, so I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna train. So mogul. And oh, one off the top. Very nice. And then I will come down Easy Street mm. with three moguls. Easy Street the hard way. Easy Street the hard way. <laughs> so I'm coming down to the bottom here. That's going to move me up to, whoops. Purple's coming along the further right. Oh, reloading. Too. reloading. Yeah. Whoops. There we go. There we go. Uh, sorry. And I got to claim my fame, my one fame. And uh, I got to claim that run now, way up there. Yep. And I can still and, take my bonus action. Uh, so did you claim your bonus fame as well, though? Ooh, I did not claim my bonus fame for reaching the bottom. No, I did yeah. not. Since you're in the waning daylight. And then I can take my variant bonus action. Sure can. Okay, snow. When you ski a run that doesn't have a, ooh, the snap camera looks kind of nice, but I think I shall be going with. You know, let's just try that. Let's let's try the snow cannon. Okay. Yeah, let's try the snow cannon. Three fame. I'll take that one yeah. over here, and put three fame. Oh gosh, where's the where's the bag? There it is. One, two, three. And fame. I just. Repl replace that with one more piece of gear. It's the Supreme Skis. Ooh, you need one fewer to complete or steal the Black Diamond runs. Yes. That's really good. It costs seven fame, though, but that's because yeah. it's really good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so I trained and I came down Easy Street, did my mm -hmm. bonus action, so I am done. Yep. Okay, so let's see. Train as well to start things off here for one action. And I will take another one from the top of the deck. And I'm going to ski down Cannonball. Uh, no, actually, I about this. No, I'm not. I'm actually more interested in training with what I see. I'll All take right. this card. And I will take this one. Okay, so just a straight up training round for train. me. Train, train, yep. train. Train, train, train. I am not going to make it down for for all the festivities. And if anybody's taking a look at uh, Jason's hand here. Remember, the, there is no hand limit to this game, is there? There is no. not. Yeah. There's no hand it's... limit. So you could just go nuts on. 
Now, a, a la, you can't just do this like in Ticket to Ride, remember, because there are a mm-hmm. set number of rounds and actions you can take in this game. So, Right. You can save up for some big runs, but you kind of also do it at the peril of of losing out on a lot of other things. Mm-hmm. We yeah. got Matt's register here says he's played this game a few times now and he really, really likes the avalanches. Mm. <laughs> Good. And Nico's calling it early that Jason is going to win. Oh, uh, you know what? I, I rarely win this game. <laughs> Cause he said Get that he time. said, whatever you just did there on your last turn, that was a smart play. <laughs> I mean, my, my, my little faint, my, my psych you out thinking I'm going to go down the mountain, but actually just train. <laughs> it is. Yes, it's all just a big mind game. Yeah, all just big. Uh, I have a friend that's not in the chat right now, but he just texted me. He says, "Ask them where did the name Skull Canyon Ski Fest come from?" Sure. Yeah, um, it actually originally the mountain was just called Skull uh, Ghost Mountain, wasn't it, Kev? Yeah, uh, it was. Yeah, Ghost yeah, Mountain. Yeah, Ghost Mountain, and and it was all based on this concept of this sort of well the whole game had a actually a little bit more of a of a macabre sort of theme to it with ghosts mm. that were that were sort of haunting this ski resort and so that's where the skull came from and that's why you see the skull in the mountain at the top and on the fame tokens and so and then we found that that wasn't quite working just wasn't quite feeling right we preferred the gear um and and but we really liked the mountain and and that it had these this skull sort of drawn into it at the top there. So Skull Skull Canyon Ski Fest. Right on utilizing night goggles right now as an extra action. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. The, uh, one extra action at the end of the skiing phase. Yeah. And I'll take one. Okay. And then that's it. Oops. Okay. And that should be it for So the, that's uh, yeah, so that's the end of the daylight there. So that's the end of day one skiing phase. And so um I am still stuck up on the mountain. So I know I'll be third position for Apra Ski. Right. Um, and then the two of you are already at the bottom of the mountain, so it'll it's to break the tie, it's effectively just turn order for that. We each both get one extra fame too, correct? Uh did you I sorry, if you ended your last run at the bottom, then yes. But if you only if you if it was during your turn that you took that. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then we would line up. So for Apriski, the order would would actually be red, yellow. So, so it still stays yellow. me and then Yeah. Because it's still you're still the first player for the rest of this round. Okay. Um Brian, take an extra fame for being at the bottom there. Oh. Do we? Thank you. Never have too much fame. Never have too much fame. Yeah. Okay. So then, you can select from the uh, the Apra ski locations. It's kind of uh, everything's available to you. So it is. And I'm just going to take a look at because at the end of this, it is going to be. Yeah. What, is it a snowy? It will be a snowy weather day. And so, so yeah, it's good to peek ahead at the hotel on sea. You'll get five new cards from the top of the deck into your hand, and you'll get to choose one of the lodges to start your day in. That's... And so you could start at the bottom as as normal, or you could start in one of the mountain lodges that are up on the mountain. Ooh, interesting. Which is an interesting option too. With the now with the variant uh, that we're playing with, where you can do those extra actions in the lodges, um, it, the bottom is still considered a lodge, obviously as well. So that's not as important for that aspect. Right. But it's still right. is good. To and at to the end of at the end of this day, all of these gear cards are going to go away. Any unpurchased gear, yeah, yeah, at the end of this night at will be night. totally tossed in the dumpster and there'll okay. be four new pieces. Okay, well, I am not doing the hot tub or any yodeling, even though I do like a good yodel. I'm okay. going to come right over here because I have to do happy hour. All right. So I'm going to spend, I'm going to spend uh, two of my fame and my one card that's in my hand, and I'm going to get three cards. And this is still follows the same rules that once I take one, I replenish. Replenish, yep. Okay, so I'll take this bottom one here. Replenish. I'll take this one right here. Whoops. Replenish. 
and I will take this one right here and replenish. Cool. All right, my turn. I will go to the hot tub and trade one card for three fame. I think that's a pretty good trade. So I will trade this uh, ski cross card here. Matt's in the chat here is asking, he says, the graphics here are so, so good. Who ended up being the artist for this game? Well, that's funny. I, in my, uh, my profession is an artist. I'm an animation designer. Um, worked for a number of years on, on Family Guy, and now I work on a Star Trek animated show. Uh, but I'm actually not the artist of the game. Uh, Jason and I are the designers, and Pandasaurus, when they brought it on, they hired an artist uh, from the Philippines named Jika Tam, who's really talented and really happy with the artwork that she made for it. Cool. Yeah, I, don't know if any, I don't know if there's any skiing resorts in the Philippines, but uh, we think she did a pretty good job. <laughs> it's got such nice, yeah, bright, vibrant colors and stuff. It really stands out. Yeah. Welcome, Nabeen. Uh, welcome, Nabeen, to the chat. And Caleb here is asking, how many days did the game last for? It lasts for three days. And each day, yep, each are. day, you take four rounds of actions. That's right. And so the APRA ski that we're in right now serves as essentially the intermission between the skiing rounds. Mm -hmm. So there will be two of these um, APRA ski phases for us here. Uh, okay, so I guess I could hop in the hot tub there. That's awfully tempting. Well, you got such a handful of cards. Yeah, and <laughs> it'll let me take an extra an extra turn as well. So right, I will you'll, be the, you'll be the furthest back. Right, so I just grabbed three fame there, and I'm still the furthest back, so that means I can do another one. And I think I'm actually going to go to yodeling, and I will save you from my yodel. <laughs> but I will make some change with the fame here. I need to put the three away and take two back because yodeling costs one fame. And so this is going to let me claim an avalanche uh, charge, which is one of these little blast tokens. I'll take one of those. So cool. And then I can also swap two of these uh, style bonus tokens on the map. Ooh. And I'm going to put the off piece from Wolverine. I'm going to swap that one with what's on Eagle. Interesting. Mobile's up there. Phew, you didn't change the ones I did. I <laughs> Dodge that one. There you go. Yeah, it's always a little nerve wracking when someone's <laughs> messing with the mountain. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. It's all good. It's all yeah. good. No, so I go next, right? So, yeah, Kip, you're the furthest back. You can continue. Gonna... My, my favorite. Uh... The hyper specification is let it ride. This was originally called casino, but you know, I think they didn't want to push the casino vibe. Mm -hmm. so let it ride is a. Uh, Isn't that, the, is that the name of a casino game? Let it ride. Yeah, there is a casino yeah. game. Yeah. Yeah. And it's also just a really bad pun about snowboarding or yeah. skiing, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I take uh, cards off the top of the deck and I name a color. So I'm going to name uh, red. Red it is, so you'll reveal those, and we'll see. Oh, we got blue. I don't want a red to come up, right? That's right. If there is not a red or a wild, then you'll get to take an extra two cards. And oh, blue, all right. Oh, wow. Nice. So you can take those other two privately, and yeah. all five of those cards are yours. That's crazy. Crazy. I yes, let it ride. Seeing some difficult runs tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be back to me now. That was quite a haul. That was quite a haul. Yeah. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to jump ahead to ski swap. Right there in the middle, and pay one fame, and just get myself a little bit of extra flexibility with a lift ticket. Nice. All right. All right. I'm also going to do the same thing. I'm coming down. I'm going to pay a fame for a lift. And then I also, do I decide to let it ride or just end the day? Hmm. I don't have any 
I'm not gonna have any fame. I'm not gonna have any fame left. Yeah. I'm not gonna have any fame left to actually purchase anything, so I think I may as well just let it ride. Yeah. Yeah, pay that last fame. Okay, now what's the color that I'm in? Okay, a bunch of blue just came off the top right. of the deck there, so maybe I will maybe I'll say blue. All right. So three cards come. Three cards. Yep. Three cards, and we will flip those. Whoops, come on. Highlight. There we go. And Oh, well, you get you get to keep that Yeti, but it does match blue. Yeah, it's a wild. Yeah. So you just keep those three, but yeah, at least you need a Yeti. But now everybody knows I got a Yeti. That's right. And I would really <laughs> wrap I would I would really like that Yeti with my field journal. So <laughs> it's just poor timing. Um, right. Okay, so then there was no room for me at Let It Ride, so I have no choice but to go to the hotel. So I'll be the first in the hotel there, which would, you know, normally be great to give me first dibs at gear, but I don't have much fame left at this point, so I will not be purchasing. Um, but it will be a snowy day, so I will just draw five from the top of the deck, and start my day, and I will place myself. And I'm going to place myself on this lodge. Mm, okay. So that's that's okay. your turn, Ryan. Oh, right. Yeah. So I will also come down to the hotel. It's a draw five. Mm -hmm. So five more into my hand. Oh my goodness. Look mm -hmm. at the options. And I also, you had the same idea. Okay, lodge. it's a big lodge. We can both fit there. <laughs> <laughs> Try right there. Perfect. And I will go to the hotel. And I, I saw Jason pick up that uh, avalanche chart, so I'm going to purchase this uh, avalanche. <laughs> the avalanche alert. <laughs> yeah. I, so let me pay my uh, two fame for that. Well, thank goodness I'm still ahead of him in turn order. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll draw my five. Okay. Yeah, a big, pretty big hand now. <laughs> and I'm going to go up to the lodge up at the top of way up there. Okay. Okay, so we can reset the daylight, and we're on to the second day, which is this snowy day. Mm-hmm. And we'll pass the right. first player marker. So I'll be first player for this day. Oh, that's right. The first player player marker does change. Yes. And so I think we're set. We've got, uh, thank you for discarding the gear there. Oh, right, and the new gears. Four new gears. So this is what we could, again, try to purchase during the day, or it might still be available for Apra Ski. So you might want to take a quick look at that. Ooh. Um, I like the heated gloves. Yeah, <laughs> that's a great one. You gotta save up for those eight eight things. <laughs> All right. Well, while you are perusing that, I will plan my first move here. Wow, these are expensive <laughs> sponsorships. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And as we're doing that, I'm going to remind everybody who's watching this channel to like this video and the awesome job that Kip and Jason are teaching it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because subscriptions are free and they help me out quite, quite a bit. And hit the notification bell so that you get notified every Tuesday and Thursday when these videos go live. Okay, I think I'm ready to kick myself out of the lodge here and take my first run of the day. And that run is going to be Whiskey Jack. And I'm going to play. Which is funny because they're oh. a famous karaoke bar here in Saskatoon is Whiskey Jack's. Oh. And so when we saw that one on there, everybody was rushing that we have to be the one that owns the Whiskey Jack that run. Owns that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I do want to ski that one, but I don't want to ski it. Right at this moment, I've got something else I'd prefer to do. So I'm going to take the other obvious choice, which is milk run. But I'm going to do a bonus on that one. So I'm going to be skiing that with two ski cross cards. 
So those two right there match on the symbol. So I'll get a double fame bonus for that. Mm. And those. So that's just going to mean two points. And then I'll take one extra fame. So I'll take two fame. Awesome. And that's the one action. And my second action here now is actually going to be, I'm going to spend my three fame. Well, this is a bonus action again. So I'm going to spend the three, the three fame and I'm going to get myself one more lift ticket. Ooh. Mm. You guys with your lift tickets. <laughs> Big plans. So, Big plans. And now I can take my last action. That one is going to be to go just simply up the Village Express. Okay. All right. All right. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take that gondola over. Ooh. Right here. And then I've uh, been saving up for this one for a while to see that uh, Paradise matching the moguls. Ooh. So I've got seven mogul cards right here. Wow, seven moguls. That's going to be a big haul. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really bad at selecting them all, so I have to pull them out one by one. <laughs> is that seven moguls without a Yeti card? Yes, it is. <laughs> Natural seven. <clears throat> and so... That's crazy that town. Is... Yeah, so that's gonna that's gonna be a big boost for you, Kip. That's gonna be eight points for the black run, and then of course matching on that style bonus is double the fame, so that's six fame. Yep, I'll go ahead and take those, and I gotta claim my run up there. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, let's see. And, uh, I think I've got I think one. I covered everything. And uh, that's my turn. I think I've got thing. I think I got mine planned out. Okay, I'm coming down. I've got to do it. I'm coming down Whiskey Jack. <laughs> yeah, you got to do it. Got to do it. And I do have my four slope style slope cards. Style. Great. Got one. Just got to figure out which way I'm going to do it. Two. Three and um, yeah, four. I'm gonna do it that way. So that's gonna get me the four points. Four, <clears throat> double the fame. Double the fame. So four fame as well. Four fame. Nice. So three and a one. And I get to claim Whiskey Jack. Where's my bag mm -hmm. there? Scrolling up. Where is Whiskey Jack? There it is over to the end. Okay, that was my first action. And my second action shall be to... Hmm. I think I'm just looking at the side here. Which, what do I got going on here? Do I train? What kind of cards do I have in my hand? Ye <clears throat> yeah, training sounds to be good. I'll grab this one ski cross. And let's grab a slalom. Okay, daylight down by one, daylight back to me. <clears throat> okay. Oh, we need to replenish one slope card oh. here. There we go. Okay. And for everybody who's watching now, you you can kind of see the, the 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 flow that this game is having, and so games do go by actually relatively quickly as long as your players at your table don't sit there and think about all the cards in their hand and all the possible options. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so I'm going to actually start 
I'm going to create a little bit of chaos here. You guys are going to love this. Um, first, I'm going to just actually use, well, let's see, there's a timing aspect here. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and, and train once and take this wild card because, you know, field journal. Why not? <laughs> because uh, field journal. <laughs> one more now. Um, and I'll grab, let's see. I think I'll grab that ski cross that <laughs> came out there. Okay. So that's one action. Then I'm going to spend my two lift tickets. Whoa. What? And I'll put those back in the bag here. So I'm going to spend the two lift tickets. I'm going to go up the Icicle Express. Then I'm going to go across the jackpot gondola. Whoa. Now I'm going to discard my explosive charge and cause an avalanche. <laughs> so we're all going to be impacted by that. I'm going to slide down Wolverine. And you guys can go ahead and take a look at... Yeah, I, right. I, obviously I, only I, one spot for you to go. Yep. Um, I, I can pay one. Thing. Kip has his avalanche alert, so he can decide if it's worth it. To pay the pain okay. and to uh, avoid it, I knew it was coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can't avoid them. Can't avoid it. No. And once again, I'm going to welcome everybody that's watching this stream tonight. We have. Uh, Kip and Jason, the designers of Skull Canyon Ski Fest, which is our game of choice this evening. And it's so lovely. I'm just glad that I'm getting a chance to play it at a player count that I haven't played before yet. Three players, and it's very interesting so far. Are there are there any Yetis up there in Saskatchewan? Or? I, you know what? I have not heard of a Yeti or Bigfoot or whatever we want to call them sightings here up, up in this way. It's, it's a very flat, uh, or I live in the very flat part of the province. The Northern part of the province is very, um, uh, for forest heavy. Yeah. Very forest heavy. I don't get up that way very, uh, very, very often. Scott Brown is playing, is, saying well played jay once again well played <laughs> well i'm actually um i'm still in my turn here so i was just uh kip you you've decided not to slide down on the avalanche you paid yeah yep. okay so for my second action now uh my second trick uh after all that chaos has <laughs> taken place um i'm gonna just ski down banana split here and that's an off-piste bonus and i'm gonna play four off-piste cards cool you must have played this game. <laughs> <laughs> Just once or twice, though. So that'll be four points to keep me close to you guys, at least. And then I'll get to claim a marker out here on split. And double the fame, so that's going to be a four fame. Mm. All right. And so my turn is done. Can I go now? It's my turn. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, there was a lot of a lot of bonus moves going on. There's there. a lot of moving parts to that turn. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> we'll uh, ski down a dragon right here, down to this lodge. By playing uh, two red cards. One and two. And that would give me two points. We're all on the same. We're on the same. Uh, same dot, 14 points, huh? Yeah. Uh, yep. Anybody's it's game. It's crowded. I'll claim that run, dragon. Yeah, but the, the, the game has already been um, mentioned by Nico that that uh, Jason <laughs> Jason has been already claimed the victor of this Proclaim game. We, 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 have yeah. to, we have to see if there was some crystal ball magic <laughs> happening there. I don't know. <laughs> Okay. And going to this lodge, I'd like to uh, purchase a lift ticket. With three fame here. Go ahead and take one. And um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and use it right away. So I can do that, right? Absolutely. So go ahead and go ahead and just pay it right away and take this lift go, right back up. Go right back Ooh. up to the top. My avalanche wasn't as effective as I had hoped. <laughs> 
that uh, gravy. Uh, with, uh, let's see, two blue cards. Get my two points. I'm playing the run. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> On to you, Ryan. All right. <clears throat> let's see if let's see if I can pull let's see if I can pull this off. Um, okay, my first action is I'm going to first action I think I'm gonna train. So I'm gonna draw one off the top. And uh, I'll draw another one off the top. Okay, beautiful. Okay, now I'm at the I have at the bottom here, so I'm gonna spend three of my fame for a lift ticket. Okay. Spend three fame for a lift ticket. Just because I want it. And I'm gonna use Yeah, I'm gonna use two lift tickets. I'm also gonna go crazy and live dangerously here. Uh, and I'm going to go up Village Express and Icicle Express up to the top here. And then for my second action is I will come down. What is that? Black Magic? Yeah. I'm going to come down Black Magic there. Nice. And I will be paying one, two, three, four, five reds and two yetis. Ooh. Okay. So that's going to cause another avalanche. Five reds. To, whoops. Uh -oh. oh, those all went. Those all went into the pile here. Draw them off the that's top. Okay. There we go. And that is going to claim me. I have to look at the card here again. That gets me eight points. Eight points. Yeah. Eight points mm -hmm. and three fame. Yes. Oh, fame. Uh, where's my mark? Let's get a black room now, and I'm very One, jealous. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right there. All oh, right, and my marker. Where's my marker here? Yeah, three fame and mark off black magic, and then we'll deal with the avalanche that you just caused. Okay. And so Kip, again, can use his avalanche alert if he'd like to. Um, That's right. I don't have that luxury, but I'm going to at least limit the damage somewhat and just slide down eagle. And I will come down. Oh my gosh, I have a few options. Let's take a look at what's going on up at the top there. Let's come down. Let's come down Galaxy over to here. Yeah. Okay. That sounds good. And then you just use bonus actions for your lifts, right? So you still have one more action, I believe. I trained on my first. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. I trained yeah. on my first. Okay. So then it's going to be back to me and we'll move the daylight down by one again. Down by one. Oh, running out of time. Okay. Mark Rogers is saying, Jay, such a noob. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, you know. You can play this game many, many times and still make mistakes. Like now I find myself wishing that I had actually just allowed the avalanche to push me to the bottom. Um, <laughs> mainly because I would like to ski easy street. I'm just at the point where I'm not entirely sure it's worth having an arms race over that one um, to steal it. Cause you can see there's two tokens on it right now. So I am going to ski down it, but I am not going to try to mess with you two and claim it. So I'm just going to ski it with two cards and just get yeah. the... Yeah, because to claim it, you would need to have five. Yeah, uh, It would have required four cards. Four cards. All right, it's two. Yeah. Um, the easy, two plus the easy way to remember it is to just the normal requirement for the set and then add the number of tokens that are already on the run. That's right. Yeah, so it would be four cards. It's not really worth double to me. So I'll let you guys fight it out on that one. I'll just take my two <laughs> points, two points and one fame. Okay. So now, okay. 
Hmm. For gear, unfortunately. Huh. I need to try something. Wait, wait. Oh, wait. Okay. I'll just go up some kind. Uh, no, rather up, back up the Village Express right here. Awesome. Okay. All right, is it my turn? Yes. Okay, so I am going to train first. I will take a uh, slope style yellow card here. And I'll take another slope style yellow. And then I'm going to ski down this gold strike black run right here. Ooh. And I'm going to go ahead and play seven. Guys, I still haven't figured out how to select all those at once. <laughs> so seven yellow cards. Now that you, after, right after you nicely like organize that pile, I'm make it <laughs> you're going to mess it all up now. Make a nice. All right. <laughs> Again, the mind games. <laughs> Oops. All right, so I get eight points on the board here. Got to keep. Got to keep uh, coming here. Get the. No, oh, it was okay. Three fame, right? And. How do I do this? All right. And then that's, that's my turn. On to you, Ryan. All right, back on to me. Hey, so let's go ahead. Whoops, I'm going to go ahead here and. Oh my gosh, there's already there's already something on Thumper. I think we're gonna have to go ahead and claim that Thumper route. Yeah, I'm gonna come and claim Thumper. I'm gonna spend uh, three yellow cards there for that. So that is going to give me two points. One fame. Where is it down there? One fame. And then I get to claim that route. Whoops, dumper. And as my second. Oh, wait. I've got some fame now. So let's wait. How much do I have here? I only have five. Do I can buy? Can I buy anything? Some rather expensive. They're all rather. Oh, six fame. Hey, is that stopwatch? Stopwatch. <laughs> It's hmm. good for a lot of uh, stealing going on. Yeah, there has been some stealing that's been going on here, but I just don't have enough fame. <laughs> I think, though, I will... I kind of like this idea of spending three fame for a lift ticket in the middle of my turn so that I can go up... I can go up something relatively easy next time, but I think I'm just going to train... For my last action here for this turn let's go let's go off the top again and let's go off the top again just because i like to live dangerously there we yes. go okay that's my two actions okay moving it down one last yep turn. so this will be the last turn day two for all of us uh Although Kip will still get his night goggles extra action at the end of skiing. Mm hmm. Okay. I think to. Yeah. Bumper has two on it already, doesn't it? Train and take this wild. This field journal. And oh, now I can't take that second one, unfortunately. But I'll take one from the top of the deck. There we go. Okay, and I need a 
I need a moderator in my chat. Some bots gone, seem to have gotten in. Uh oh, oh no. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think now what I will do. What are they doing with just a little stream like me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and ski thumper and I will attempt to steal it. That would be four cards matching. And so I will play two slalom cards plus two yetis. Oh, yes. Hmm. And so that will again cause an avalanche. Um, so Kip, hey, okay. okay. <laughs> pay up if you need if you want to um so i'm stealing yeah thumper i will put a token out on that top of that one and i get two points and the one fame for that ryan you skied whiskey jack before didn't you did you, did you ski hobbits too did i which one uh he didn't ski hobbits he skied whiskey jack though no, uh, yeah. there was an avalanche that was yeah, triggered that brought down. me that pushed me to past yeah. hobbits. Yeah, oh, I kind of forgot why it wasn't playing up there. So that's the end of my second action. We did the avalanche, um, but I will just really quickly take a bonus action here, and I'll spend six fame to uh, buy the stopwatch. What is that one again? Uh, this is one stealing a run. I could pay a fame to play one fewer card. Okay. To do yeah. The stealing. Yeah. And so we can replenish that gear and see what it is. Blazing boots. That's good. Gain one extra fame every time you ski a run. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and now I will also just claim one extra fame because that's the waning daylight bonus for me. And that's my turn. I'm going to go ahead and accept that avalanche and I'll slide down Whiskey Jack there. Okay. Ryan, where are you at? Oh, you're I'm, at, the at, bottom the, I'm at the bottom already. It was okay. safe and sound. <laughs> and then, was that the end of your turn? That was the end of your turn, Jay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I was all done. Yep. Right, so I will train. And I'm going to go ahead and just take two uh, blind cards. And let's see, then I will go ahead and ski down the uh, hobbits. Why not? Mm -hmm. Lousy uh, hobbits. I'll play a <laughs> Eddie and a red card. And I'll take my two points. There. Yeah. Hmm. And one fame. Claim that Hobbit's run. Hmm. Oh, okay, what am I gonna do? Turn, right? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. We're all hanging out at the bottom. All hanging out at the bottom. We've got to take a look at the recap at the at the very top of the board here. Was who's all claimed what routes? Mm-hmm. I'll say I've got five. Kip's got five. I've got four. four. Mm. Yeah, and we're all sort of specializing in certain areas a little bit here, but it's still pretty tight. Still on pretty that tracker. Okay, let's see here. Let's take a look at the board. Where are all these extra? Where are all these different runs? Okay, I see. I sees. <clears throat> this is the last one, so I think I might do some training to start. Yeah, let's do some training to start. I'm going to be doing... Oh, forgive me. I forgot to move the Yeti when I played the Yeti. Is it too late now that I'm... I... <laughs> oh, no, I haven't, I haven't done anything oh, yet. Oh, no, go ahead. Yeah. This um... might benefit me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm going to put them up here on the... Put them in the upper alpine. Nobody will go up there. Maybe. No one wants to go up there anymore. 
<laughs> okay. It uh, doesn't really change my decisions much. So I'm going to train first. So I'll draw one here. Come up here. Whoops. Put that there. Ooh. Now, if, if uh, a third Yeti card comes up, then it gets wiped. That's right. Yep. It gets wiped. I'll just grab one off the top here. So that's my first action for training. And... Gosh, is it really worth going down any of these runs? No, let's just let's just actually just train again. Let's just really set ourselves up. Saving your energy for the last day. Yeah. So that one and then I will just take one off the top again. I like live dangerously. I'm always a draw off the top kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I just trained twice. Okay, and did you get your waning daylight bonus? I did not. Grab that fame. And then that will be the end of the daylight, but Kip, you get those fancy night goggles out so you can take one extra action. <laughs> hmm. uh, you can stay up while the lifts are closed. I think already down at the bottom, you know, just uh, training yeah. is pretty cool thing to do. So uh, I'll just take two blind ones. Oh, I thought you were going to take those wilds to keep them away from me. I, I mean, I can only take one. Then. <laughs> well, no, I, you tell it to you. I probably one, shouldn't have given One yeah. is one. Yeah. yeah it is. I'm just <laughs> Joking. All, all right. right. So we are all at the bottom of the mountain at the same time. So it's going to be line up in, in turn order. So I'll slot myself into the first position there. And I'm second and Kip is second. Yep. Okay. Well. All right. I'm going to just jump right into the hot tub. Discard this mogul card. Take three fame. Oh, somebody's asking, will somebody be yodeling? Will somebody uh -huh. yodel right now on stream? <laughs> it used to be a requirement <laughs> in, in the game. In the early design, it was a must. <laughs> I'd like everybody to stay in the stream, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to break any windows or anything. Uh, let's see. I won't go. As you yeah. play this game, I find do do just tend to just automatically do the yodeling, though, whether it says it or not. They. Yodeling, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Take yourself, give yourself a bonus fan. <laughs> give yourself a bonus fan for that. On the house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Oh, so, so Kip did his take threes? Yep. Did it. Okay. So I am going to come along. I'm going to come to the hot tub here. Go on the hot tub time machine. Yeah. I'm discard this card up there and grab my three fame. And then what I got six fame there, hey? Grab another three. No, I'm gonna just gonna come over here and just spend a fame for another lift. Okay. Grab a lift for a fame. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and hop into the happy hour. So that's going to cost me two fame. I'll take one back here. And I have to discard a card. So I'll get rid of this ski cross. And now I can take three. And all because of my field journal, I'll go ahead and take that. Hmm. <clears throat> And so then that just counted like it was one. And so I can still take two more cards and take, should go ahead and take this one. And this one. Uh, and your turn again. And then it will be my turn again. Yes. Turns for days. 
Right. Uh, yeah, I'll take a lift ticket too. That sounds good to do. I'm going to assume that was probably a, hmm. something that, that Kip would want to do. <laughs> You're getting some thumbs up for that. <laughs> <laughs> but the Let It Ride treated me good. So yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No one paying for that. Let's see. Do... No, nope, that's the discards, though. Oh, sorry. It's discard. Yep. What's your color? Uh, I'm going to call um, well, yellow since there's so many up there, right? All right. Red. Red. Oh, yellow. Well, one of each. Look, those three, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, great. And I'll get to go. Uh, yeah, I haven't done Let It Ride this game yet. So <laughs> spend my, my last piece of fame here. And three cards. I'm going to name Blue. Oh, right out of the gates. Okay. All right. All right, so I'm, I am heading to the hotel. I get to, it, next day is going to be one of these wet, melty kind of days. Yeah, so I get the icy days. I'm going to draw four, four cards. cards. Into there. And there's not much gear that I am able to purchase. I can purchase these blazing boots, which gives me that extra fame. Not bad. A reminder, too, for everyone that fame at the end of the game is worth um, points at a three to one ratio. Right. Okay, I am going to spend. I'm going to spend those five fame that I have. Whoops. Yes, I got. To put the three in there and these two ones. I'm going to grab those boots. Okay. Grab the boots here. Move this bag. Whoops. Is the bag locked into place or something? Probably. We don't, we don't. No gear replaced yet for that purchase. Yes. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Let's put that right there. Yeah. And then I guess that's me. Okay. So then I will obviously have to get into the hotel there too and draw my four cards from the top of the deck. And I have no fame to purchase gear, so I'm done. Kip, mm -hmm. the hotel is awaiting you. So, um, I don't think I have enough fame to purchase uh, the gear either, so just draw my four. Okay. And I think we're good to go. Okay, so we are on to the third and final day. So everyone back into the village here. This first player marker will pass to Kip now. And we have reset the daylight, thank you. And we will discard the gear that we did not purchase and we'll put out four new ones. And so this is a chance, one last chance at some gear. And this last day is just going to be a skiing phase and once we're done skiing the game will end and we'll calculate our final scores so here's our last four gear to see okay so we got the oh the energy drink yeah so oh. my favorite pieces finally came out here i knew they were in there somewhere the yeah. ramp so uh when you're ready kip yeah you'll he'll be first player for this last ski phase mm, great all right. So let's see. I'm going to go up the uh, Village Express and up High School Express. And that was quick. <laughs> <laughs> Those were expresses, you know. That's. <laughs> mm, okay. Okay. Let's got. I got to take a look at the different. Yeah. This is where it all matters, folks. There's only Look eight. Around. There's only yeah. eight actions left in the game for each player. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I will so many different options. <laughs> I will oh my gosh. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna be that guy. I'm I'm I am that guy <laughs> in my in our game group where I take literally yeah. forever to do anything. Let's take a look here. Where are we going? Which routes kind of, are where? This, at this point of the game, you know, so many runs are claimed. And... Yeah, and this is some, yeah. a part that's definitely a little easier in the real world, right? You're able to scan the board and the run tracker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. kind of zooming around everywhere. And so it's to kind of assess the situation a bit. My goodness gracious. There's so much going on here. <laughs> so much going on. Just carve some sweet turns. Get some of that sweet fame. Mm-hmm. So let us go with. You know what? I'm just gonna do. I'm just. I know. I know. I got my two lift tickets here, but I'm just gonna spend my two actions just to go up these two. Okay. As well. I think that. I don't know if that's gonna be smart, but I'll try it. Yeah. Two actions there. Okay. Yeah. So my turn. I will use my first action to go up the Sunshine Express. And then I don't believe anyone has skied espresso yet. So I'm going to get my coffee. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's going to be required four. So I'm going to play, I'm actually going to play these four right here. Well, actually, I guess I probably better put up the, the old Yeti. Because Ooh. one, two ski cross, one yeti, mm. and two yeti. What? What? Yeah, that's gonna be an avalanche for you guys. Um, so you're gonna have to figure out what you want to do with that. <laughs> but in the meantime, I will just humbly collect my points over here. Oh, well, I will. I know. Think I know what and, Kip will do. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and I'll collect a couple of point or fame tokens for that. And Mark Espresso. I'll go ahead and pay for my. Uh... It's too tempting, you guys, with and, all those lifts you were taking up and, there. I mean, and and <laughs> since I'm the host of the stream, I get to copy somebody's power, right? <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Oh my gosh! So where am I going down? I guess I will come down. Oh, black magic here. Come down to there. Seems to be the best opportunity for me. Okay. And Kip, you spent your fame to stay up there? Or... Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So uh, it's back to you. So <laughs> we will move the daylight down by one. All righty. Well, uh, then I will see that, that fortress run. It yeah. hasn't been claimed. Yeah. And uh, I will play. One yellow and one yeti. Get two points. One fame. And let's get the plane that one. Hmm, okay. And then I will ski, let's see. You know, I was looking at the wrong one for the, the style bonus. <laughs> um, you know, I'm just gonna... Uh, Oh, oh, sorry, guys. Quick, uh, sorry, just quick point of fact here. Um, that avalanche would have impacted me as well. So mm. it's not all as rosy as it may have looked for me. <laughs> I, I skied espresso, but it did knock me all the way down after the avalanche occurred. Um, well, <laughs> I'm kind of in a conundrum because. Uh... <laughs> 
guess I will see uh, Powder Keg. Has that one been claimed yet? I don't think so. Powder Keg is not. Yeah, no. there's still a few runs out there. But I, I apologize in advance because I do have to play two Yeti cards. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> And there they are. We're never going to be invited back on, Kip. I know, right? <laughs> I love this. But the avalanche is the best part of this game. Because you, yeah. nev you never know when it's actually going to ever happen. <laughs> and everybody just goes, no! <laughs> it's a big mountain. Just You just have to think. There's other stuff you can ski out there. So... Don't get too attached to any one run. Whew. And then Kip and actually on the run tracker, we're we're all pretty pretty close for overall runs at least. It's it's a pretty tight. And he's got Kip's a six starting to edge us out. All right, then you're up, Ryan. Okay, okay. So there, that's the one that is there. Okay. Oh, but I think that so avalanche, right? So. And you just caused another one, right? Which yeah, yeah, so we have that. So, oh, so I have to. I'm, you're at the bottom. I'm already at the bottom, so I'm good. But mm. Ryan will have I go ahead and find two because that affects me too, right? Right. Unless... Well, I guess I can come down this way. That works somewhat. Because do I have... Okay, yeah, okay. So is it my turn? Uh, so Kip just finished, right? So yeah, yeah. Okay, I am going to come down Bear Creek here, and I'm going to get a style bonus for all of those slope style cards that I have. One, very nice. Uh, two, where is it? Three, and this one Yeti card. Okay, so that was a blue run again, so that would be four points. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Uh, double the bonus, so that's four fame. Double the bonus is four fame, and then you get an extra fame because of your blazing boots. That is correct. And I have to move the Yeti, and I also mm -hmm. have to um, claim that run up at the top. Yeah, Bear Creek. Bear Creek has not. And where, sh where or where should this Yeti uh, go? Is he going to go? Where? Hmm. Let's, <clears throat> oh boy. Let's move him on Milk Run. And there he oh. goes. Oh. That's some good milk. <laughs> he drank too much eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the rum and eggnog season is a fast yeah. approaching. Oh, yes. Um, okay, wait, wait. That was only my first action, wasn't it? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then I shall spend... Oh, gosh, here we go. I'm in an awkward zoom. I'm going to spend two lift tickets to go romp, romp. Nice. And then as a my last action is I will come down I will come down fortress with uh doesn't have a style so I'll use three blues. Nice, that's a good steal. Yep. Mm -hmm. There we go. And um this is the one I come to steal. steal. I will grab that's one plus one for my boots, so two fame. And that is two points. Yeah, two okay. Hmm. okay. Okay, so it's back to me. Move the uh nope, nope. It'll be after after um yeah, after, after my turn. After Jason's yeah, turn. Your first. You're still first player, yeah. So let's see. Not liking what I'm seeing. Mm. Hmm. 
Indeed. Mm-hmm. Let's make let's make a big yeti. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. I just I'll just lean into my field journal again and just all right. go back to that well. Grab that yeti so that I can take some more good stuff. I'll take this slalom card too. <clears throat> okay. And then second action. Let's do Oops. Keep forgetting. Go up the Sunshine Express. Yeah. Oh, oh. wipe out. <laughs> uh, okay. I think that's all I am doing. So now it's going to be back to Kip and we'll move the daylight down by one again. Okay. Last couple of turns. Four actions left. Mm. Four mm. actions Never left. Enough. Never enough. And that's where it gets tricky. This right. is definitely where it gets tricky. <laughs> so I'm going to train. Make one of this blue off piece. And. How many, how many uh, claims are on Thumper there? Is it like three? Uh, it looks like... One, two, the, yeah, there's three. Yeah, there's three there. It's a little hard to see from stack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is an expensive run to steal at the moment. No kidding. It's been pretty vicious on those green runs, I have to say. Yeah, I've, I that, 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 that's a lot of steals. Yeah. Yeah. I've tried to kind of keep out of that mostly. <laughs> yeah. Better purchase a lift ticket while I'm down here. Yeah, it was a it was a very I thought because some people that I talked to said that this is a very interesting that the easy the where there's the most right is worth the most end of game right. points if you have a majority on them. That was actually pretty cool. Yeah, and it kind of decreases them. So that's right. It's kind of like you get your points up front for the black runs. You know, you get yeah. a lot of points, and so and the control doesn't switch as often. Right. Yeah. No, I that we, we yeah we just thought that was really really kind of neat in the in the point scoring yeah we noticed mm-hmm. that that you get the big amount of points up front but then less at the end right. of the game and the quite reverse for those beginner runs yeah and that is where mm-hmm. we do see most of the competition because it's kind of easier that's where we see a lot of collisions and chaos on the mountain yeah right and there's just more of them too I just trained for two blind cards so it's okay. Really- Okay. I oh gosh. Sure, let's let's train. I am going to grab this. Um grab this yellow mogul card. And I will grab this. Um, no, it doesn't have, I'll just grab this yellow ski cross card. That's one action. Mm. And then let's come down. No, let's train again. I'm going to do a second train action as well. I'm just going to do what Kip does. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. That's two actions. Okay. Back to me. All right. I'll start off by skiing down Wizard, which I already control, but it's an opportunity to get, get some bonus. style bones going. Ooh, yeah. Bonus. Some slaloms, and my fourth slalom is going to be a Yeti. So let me just go ahead and grab my points for that. And then double fame. So that's going to be four fame. 
So that does not shift hands or anything. I already control that. But I will be moving the Yeti now. And I think I'm going to just go ahead and put him right behind my run. And second action now is Galaxy's too tempting there. Mm -hmm. only, one, only one claim on that. So I'm going to ski Galaxy. Mm. And that would cost me three in order to steal it from Kip. Mm. Um, however, I have the stopwatch. And so when stealing, I can pay one fame to pay one fewer card to steal it. Beauty. That's one that Ryan that's one. There. That's one of mine. <laughs> oh, that's one of yours. That's right. Okay. So coming down Galaxy, oh. that's going to shift hands. I'm going to ditch uh, these two yellow cards to do that. And so I will put a marker out on to Galaxy. Two points. Okay. Getting down to it. That's the end of my turn. Hmm. Uh, so it's back to Kip. So it's the last round last of daylight. two turns. Yep. Now keep in mind, Kip will have that extra action again with the night goggles. So he gets kind of an extended day every day. Crazy. Right. Oh. Use, up, use up your lift tickets if you have them. Oh, man, it's they are yeah, not but... worth anything. Cards haven't really been in my favor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So let's see. I need to uh, train. And so uh, I will take. Huh. One uh, wild card. And then I'll. Uh... Well, thank you for replacing that. Yep. And. Oh my gosh. Let's see. I have one more turn after this. this is my last turn. This is your last action. That's right. Okay. Yep. All right. I have to use my lift ticket up there. And then because I have the night goggles, I'll have one after you guys go. <laughs> So I'm gonna go up this, and then I'll train one more time. That one, this one. You probably know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna steal those eight points. <laughs> oh boy! Your turn, Ryan. Oh gosh, that was not in my favor. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, three. What I got for his cards here? Oh, if I was just ever so in a better position to go down yeah. one of those black runs from here. So let us. <clears throat> if I come down that one, where is where is? Whoops, what am I looking for here? Oh, I'm not even looking at the right one here. Um, oh, you can't even put a token on top. Can you put, you, you can't put a token on top of your token. You can if you, if you play an additional card. Yeah. If you, if you uh, would like to bolster it. You... Just make it that much more difficult for yeah. somebody. It's, it's a possibility. Mm. Well, I don't even think I, wait, I don't even think I can do that. Or no, not with the cards in my hand. Dang it! That was a possibility. Okay. Um, what is it? Espresso. Espresso. I would need five cards to claim the run. Oh, but then I wouldn't have. Oh, why can't I have? Why can't I have one more action? <laughs> okay. Well. If I'm not going to get that extra action for what I want to do anyways, I may as well just do one action for training. I'm going to draw this one. One, two, three, four. And one more. Come on. Oh, dang it. 
Oh, dang it. Well, okay. Well, I may as well just come down espresso. <laughs> may as well just come down espresso. I can pay five yellow cards. One, two, ugh, three, four, and five yellow cards there. I mean, that's still a good run. It takes it from me. Yeah. Espresso. That is, oh gosh, what am I looking at here? Four points. Yep. One, two, three, four. It claims the run up yep. at the top. Oh. So, where, where, where are you, Espresso? There you are. And one. it gets me, what is that? Two, three two fame. Plus. Yeah, you're blazing boots again. So three fame. And. That was, yeah, I trained and then I came down. I'm not at a lodge, so I can't take it a bonus action. I am done. Okay. So to me, well, I'm really sad to have lost espresso, I will say. However, <laughs> I can ease my pain somewhat, maybe by skiing down something else here. Let's see. Uh, Fortress has two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what? I have an extra lift ticket to use, so I'm going to spend that Might as well. Now we'll go up Icicle Express, then I'll spend one action to go across the jackpot gondola. Um, and then gravy only has oh, one yeah. claim on it. And so I'm going to ski that little run gravy. Oh. And I'm going to play. Um, I would need three to steal it, but I have that stopwatch. So I will spend one fame to use my stopwatch. And well, actually, no, I wouldn't do that because I would rather keep the fame because that's an extra point at the that's end of the an game. an extra point for you. Yeah. Yep, so I'll just play. Fortunately, I can do it with three cards, so I will just play three red cards. It's like he's played this before. And with those three reds, that will be mine. Great. What? Yep. And <laughs> two points and one fame. Uh, okay. That will do it for me. And so it's basically daylight's done, but Kip does have okay. right, does have those night goggles, so he gets one extra action. But let me yeah, how many how many tokens are on Thumper there? Oh, Thumper has uh I think three. three. I yeah, it has three. So I can play what five to claim that? Five would claim it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many he's, cards do you have? He's got lots. Yeah. I can do that. I think he can do it. All right. <laughs> he can do it. There they go. Just because I took that gravy run, I guess. Yeah, hey, you know. Just, I see. <laughs> and so that'll give me uh, two points. One thing. I have the claim on that run. That's Ooh. it, eh? I think that's it. So yeah, then... you have uh, left. Yeah, you have used your lift ticket and all that, and your extra action. That would be it. So is there still yeah. extra for being at the bottom, right? Uh, there is, yeah. So it's still a waning daylight bonus. That's right. So you're the only one that collects that one fame. Perfect. And. So for final scoring now, we basically look at our gear cards at the points we collected for those. Mm -hmm. And then for fame, we take one point for every three fame. So for example, I get five points from my gear. And then I will take an extra two points for my fame. One, two, three, four points for my gear. Three points for fame. Kip will do his. 
points for gear and two for fame. Yep. Okay, so that's not quite the final score. The last thing is to look at the run tracker. So let's take a look maybe at the top at the expert run. So the master of the experts was Kip with his three runs there. So he's going to get four points for that category. And then mm -hmm. actually Ryan and I are going to tie on the blue runs. And so we will each get three points. Nice. And then the much contested green runs. <laughs> <laughs> the winner there is a split again between, um, between Kip and Ryan. And so you would each take four points. Four points. Yeah. Two, and then the three, four. And then the most overall uh, is six for Kip and seven for Ryan, One, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven for me. Yes. Yes. And I only had uh, five. So you get a bonus four points. One, two, oh. three, four oh. by one point. He eked out the victory. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, I definitely thought I was never going to get any points on that beginner thing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, that, that got really close towards the end there um, on the run tracking for sure. Ooh. Beauty. Beautiful yeah, so game. There, so there we have it. Yeah, that was a great game, guys. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah, somebody somebody mentioned I don't think I moved my score tracker far enough. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's okay. He said I only moved two points instead of three, but it doesn't. Oh. Take the extra oh. point. Then. Take the extra <laughs> point for 52 yeah. so that yeah. I can put it in my BG stats. That's right. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was great. I do like this variant. I, I didn't actually use the variant to buy any gear cards, but I did take yeah. advantage to buy those lift tickets, though. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, and, and I mean, it's it, it will play differently every time, of course, a little bit, like, based on what comes out. We had quite a bit of expensive gear coming out early in the game, mm. and so that, you know, led to us maybe not picking up as much gear. Yeah. Um, but uh, it definitely is nice to be able to get that first piece of gear on your first ski day before you even go into the opera ski. Yeah. Um, and then, like you said, the lift tickets, I think, really gives you a lot of nice uh, maneuverability, right? To be nice able to flexibility. Get those, get those during the day as you're going. Nice yeah, flexibility, like yeah. I'm going to switch back over to our chat uh, sure. window here. And, well, thank you very much, Jason and Kip. That was a lot of fun playing a game at a player count I have not yet played at and a variant that I have not yet been able to play. And this just solidifies my opinion that I had in my review that I really enjoy Skull Canyon Ski Fest. You two knocked it out of the park with this design. This was your first design. Yeah, it is our first design. Yeah. Very, yeah, hopefully, very hopefully well many. done. And Thank some you. people may want to may, may, may see that that there was a comparison that I made before. We never I never said it throughout the whole yeah. stream but there is that comparison to ticket to ride with just right. the set collecting and going down the thing and i've went on record and i'll say it again here that this is completely wait like, we don't play ticket to ride anymore in, the, in, <laughs> in this house because this game now exists for us we'll play ticket to ride when, with with our with our kids with our, sure. with our smaller ones it's still a little bit more for them but for my wife and i my gosh this one yeah. this, this this one knocks it out of the park yeah, well, thank you. I mean, it's it's nice. It has some familiarity, right, to, and some comparison points to other popular games like that, as well mm -hmm. as you know, in the Apra Ski, a lot of people are familiar with parks and those styles of game of games too. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, it's 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 a great alternative theme with some alternative mechanisms and and just a hopefully just a fresh a fresh take on a game, you know. Yeah. And, absolutely. Uh, and, and and fresh definitely means it's pun intended with that fresh snow yeah. out on the mountains going down lots of fun thank you once again again gentlemen jason kip this was an absolute blast anytime you want to come well, back on and we if you if you have another design that you're working on or something sure. like that whenever it comes out give me a give me a shout we'll we'll get it out on the stream so that people can see it hopefully this introduces more people yeah. Skull Canyon Ski Fest. Check out your friendly local game stores out there and see if there are some hidden copies out on those shelves. Yeah. And Absolutely. yeah, 
yeah, thank you so much for having us, Ryan. Really, really enjoyed the play with you, and uh, mm -hmm. and it's just a just a lovely night on the mountain. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And any night you get to play a game is a good night in my books. And awesome company. You two were such lovely, lovely players to play at. It didn't get too mean. There was no trash talking. It was just right, just the right yeah. amount uh, for us. Thank you very much. And thank you to everybody out there that has been watching this stream with us tonight. I just remind you to make sure you put a like onto this video, subscribe to the channel. It really helps people get notified uh, about what this channel is all about. Hit the notification bell. We're going live every Tuesday and Thursday evenings. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Any insight? Is there another design that's kind of floating around there out there that has that that's maybe been pitched and picked up? Nothing that's been pitched yet, but yeah, Kip and I have a couple of other ideas that are that are all sort of in the same the same universe, even if you will, of, uh, of of this mountain. So there's some ideas we're working on, and um, and also we just are just enjoying seeing the game getting played and hearing the feedback and seeing what possibilities there might be to you know expand the game and and see where it leads as well. So right, yeah, just hope right, people right. are enjoying it. Variable player yeah. power. <laughs> yeah. yeah we may or may not have been uh, working on that as well yeah yes for sure okay yeah. awesome Great. possum gentlemen thank you everybody who's been watching thank you jason and kip for joining me once again for tonight and this is the part of the show where we just say good night everybody good night everyone ciao hey, everybody take care Bye. and